as long as I can remember, I've been angry with God. My life has been marked with hardships. My father died when I was young. Birth complications left my sister deaf. My brother nearly died of meningitis and cancer took my mother's life. So I think I probably have always had a chip on my shoulder. I've always felt myself a very good Christian, but uh, many times I would talk to him in anger of why he would put me through such pain, why he would put events in my life. why he would put events in my life that would cause so much stress and pain. There was always a pretty big hole in my life and anguish that came out in temper and rage. Steve and I met on the hill in front of Joya's Deli and we were pretty much off and running after that. We just clicked immediately and had a really good rapport. We were married here at Tower Grove on April 1st. It's a fantastic day, and since then so many wonderful things have happened. You know, little bumps along the way, but uh, it, it was going fairly well. And then uh, one day we found out that uh, Mary had lost her job. I went downstairs and stepped out of the office and uh, called Steve and uh, broke down. And he was very calm, very supportive. Um, he said, you know, we'll get through this. And uh, that's really what I needed to hear. Shortly after Mary had lost her job, I was out making sales calls and I was experiencing some chest pains that I had never experienced before. So I wound up going to uh, the hospital and uh, they didn't like some of the results so I had a cardiac cath which turned out wonderful, uh, very clear arteries. But then the new stress of what are the bills gonna be coming in? We came to our service here at The Journey and Adam, Mary and I prayed and on Monday, um, when I went to get the mail, there was a letter from St. Luke's Hospital that I couldn't understand because we had not called them, but it was a letter that gave us a credit for the entire hospital bill that the insurance didn't cover, which was almost $3,000 that we just did not have. So many things have happened to me in this last couple of years. I stopped asking why me and I think I start saying, wow, God. Uh, recently, I was up at Mark Twain Lake, and I was on a 15-year-old riding lawnmower. And I start to go out on the road. A Ford pickup truck was going 50 miles an hour. And the next thing I know, I'm sitting sideways on my lawnmower still in the road. I was fine. I didn't ask God, why did you let this happen? I said, thank you, God, for protecting me. I think the growth that I've seen in the last six months in Steve has been that those walls are coming down. We have hit bottom pretty hard a couple of times. Um, emotionally, financially, spiritually, but I think we are closer today than we would have been three years from now. We've been over the rocks this last six months, and I really think at the end of the day that I'm thankful for the experience.